Hello everyone and welcome to episode 4 of Project Ozone 3. How are you doing? How's life? So in between the episodes I managed to get the ability totem for flight. So now we have creative flight. The thing is that we actually had enough RAKs to purchase this totem but the problem is I did not collect all the RAKs from different quest lines. So for instance last episode I had around 680 or something but uh, that did not include the quests for applied energistics and I think also the solar panels. Anyway, we had plenty, I just did not collect them. I needed flight because I wanted to work a little bit on the floating island idea that I told you about last episode and uh, I know that they look very plain, simple and ugly but I don't have enough resources to start decorating them right now. Later on when we gather enough resources, I'll start working on them. I also decided that we are going to need a portal room because we have too many dimensions in this pack. We have the Landia, we have Nether, we have Twilight. We have several dimensions from Abyssal Craft and you know, it's a lot. So I thought we should prepare a section for them. I also made a Wither Builder and I'm using our grinder so that I don't have to fight the Wither manually and we just get the loot here, which is awesome. I also started making additional seeds. I tend to intend them. It's the Energetic Alloy, Diamond, Steel and Emerald. They were the resources that I used a lot. I made an additional imaginary time block and I also went to the Slime Island. I think that's it, right? So what's the plan for today? Well, my main plan is to get the energy condenser marked to as soon as possible. It's not going to happen this episode, but we will get there very soon. In order to get the energy condenser, we are going to need the Philosopher's Stone. We need to get into Astral Sorcery. But in order to get into Astral Sorcery, we are going to need to complete a mod called Lordcraft. In order to start Lordcraft, we have to go to the Twilight Forest. And in order to go to the Twilight Forest, we need to complete Embers. So we're going to start with embers. In order to start embers, you're gonna have to kill an ancient golem. So that you would be able to make the ancient codex. Then we're going to need an ember core in order to collect embers. What I meant was ember bore and not ember core. Sorry. <laughs> but anyway, we need to come down to Y level... I don't know, anything less than Y level 5 because that would be the bedrock level. And then we're going to put the bore here. It looks very cool. One chest to supply it with coal. One chest to get embers. This machine has only one input and output slot. So in order to extend it a little bit, I made a mechanical core. Now we have more sites to access. In order to extract items using the embers piping, we are going to need an item extractor, which is technically like a servo in thermal expansion. The only difference is it requires a redstone signal. So now it's working. And another one to extract the embers from the ember bore. Oh, we got three. That's nice. I thought instead of a normal chest, we just use an ender chest so that we get the items inside our applied energistic system. So we don't have to come down here again. We need to convert those ember shards that we're getting from the ember bore into the energy which is required in the mod. So we can do this in two ways. We can use an ember activator or a pressure refinery. This is less resource intensive but it's less efficient. This guy requires a little bit more resources, but it's more efficient. So we are going to use a pressure refinery. We can increase the efficiency of a pressure refinery by using an electron block or some sort of a heat source. Well, I had electron blocks and uh, I don't want to put lava down. So we're going to use electron blocks. So these guys are going to require water and embers in order to operate. We will give them water and we put the ember shards inside and let's hope it works. Oh, that's cool. The copper cell is our capacitor bank in this mod and we should be able to have a buffer of embers that we are producing in our refineries. The way this works is that we're going to need emitters and receptors. We shift right click on the receptor and then we right click on the emitter and if we give it a redstone signal, this should get embers. Yes. In order to activate the portal to the twilight forest, we are going to need this glimmer crystal. So we are going to need downstone, we are going to need ashes and we are going to need to do alchemy in embers. Well, I have prepared two melters in order to make the downstone. So uh, if we provide it with gold and copper, we will get the molten versions. And if we put it inside a centrifuge, we will get downstone. I put the gold inside and this thing is getting embers so it should be able to make molten gold for us. We just need to make copper. 
Yes, we also have molten copper. We just have to mix them in inside the mixer centrifuge. So I have to do some piping. So molten copper and molten gold has to go to the bottom side of the mixer centrifuge and on the top half we will get downstone. Now we just have to extract it and turn it into ingot. I wanted to be cheaty and use the ingot former for nuclear craft but uh, I can't do that because that requires a top alloy. So we are going to do this the embers way. We are going to need a stamper base and we need the stamper itself which has to go on top like so. Yep. Oh, we need the torch. And we remove this crate. Then we are going to extract the embers from uh, the centrifuge to the stamper. And I also made an ingot cast. We put you there and you just need embers, I think. Which one is empty? There you go. We have one downstone. We actually only need four and after that I should be able to make the seed. So we don't need this setup that much. It's a tier 4 seed, so let's get some Supremium. One downstone seed, and it's 10, 10, 10. If we want to get into alchemy in embers, we are going to need ashes. And in order to get ashes, we're going to need a cinder plinth. So this guy will take any item and convert it into ashes. So I'm going to use cobblestone because, you know, it's cheap and you should work if I give you embers. Yes, it's burning and we should get ashes in the bin. Yes, that's good. So we just have to put it inside the crate. Yeah, that's much better because I don't know how many items you can store in a bin. I think it's like two stacks or something. We are also going to need one downstone aspect and for that we're going to need a plate stamp which goes here. Nope, no, 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 no. And we need you. <laughs> okay, that should give us the aspect now. Yes, okay, that's good. Because uh, if, if you put this, it will just give you downstone plates. We don't want plates, we just wanted one aspect. For the glimmer crystal, we're going to need this pattern on an exchange tablet. So I have already done that. Then we are also going to need 64 to 80 of ashes inside a downstone aspect. So. We put our aspect here and we are going to give you 64 because in any case if I'm wrong it will give me an alchemical waste and it will tell me how to correct it. So I guess the only thing remaining is to hit this with the beam cannon. Yes, and we wait. So we got an alchemical waste and it tells us that we were inaccurate by 8. So instead of 64, we are going to need 72. Okay, let's try it again. This thing should charge again. Oh, it's charged. Okay, that's nice. So 64 and 8. How do you put it in? Uh-oh. Apparently not a hopper. So how am I going to do that? Will you work? Oh yeah, okay. That's fine by me. I forgot to put in the recipe. <laughs> okay, I'll be right back. Let's hope it works. So I don't know how this thing is supposed to work, but I made two pedestals and we're going to put 36 ashes in either one of them. That should be 72, right? And now you should work. I hope. Yes. We finally have it. I want to make another one because apparently you can make a lamp with this thing. I don't know what it does, but we need an extra one. It is so cool. I love this. Apparently uh, Embers has gone through an update and we have a lot of amulets, belts and rings. So that's something that we might try later on. I don't mind. So in between the episodes, I updated the pack. And the dark armor that we're wearing right now, the recipe for it has been changed. Look, it's just above dark matter armor. And so this is a very cheaty armor that we have. And I was thinking maybe we should make these. They look fun. It's from embers. And the only things that you're going to need is basically downstone and ashes. Oh, you have to do it like this. It just needs iron and lead. Okay, it's actually not that bad. I can do that. Mm. 
Needless to say, Embers is now one of my favorite mods. It's so nice, look how awesome the armor looks and the hammer. And also we can enchant them more if we use a downstone anvil and make these things, which look maybe a little bit more complicated. But uh, I think if we had enough embers for today, maybe we continue it uh, in the future episodes. It's just awesome. I love this. So why is this thing red? It's water inside, so why is it overheated? Is it gonna explode? Anyway, I don't know, but I have finished every quest in Gamma which related to Embers, so this quest line is done. Before going to the Twilight Forest, there are a bunch of things that I want to do. One of them is to get the Digital Miner for Mechanism, and I also want to unlock the quest line. Uh, the quest line for Mechanism requires Compressed by Explosion. I think it's referring to Pneumatic Craft and how you get Compressed Iron. So I brought a stack of iron. And if we put a TNT and run away, so are you compressed? Okay, that's good. So you should be unlocked. No. Ah, you need 64. We have 56. Okay, that's easy. So now you are done and you should be open if I can find you. Yes, this guy is unlocked. Good. Metallurgic infuser, enriched alloy and basic circuits. I think it would be also better if we upgrade them to basic factories. Yes, that would be much faster. Well, I just realized why we had to do pneumatic craft before going into mechanism because when you want to make the steel casing, you're missing bits and pieces, and those bits and pieces are grey plastic. So we're gonna need to get liquid plastic, which comes from LPG and comes from oil. Does it have to be this oil? Can't it be like thermal expansion? Oh yeah, okay. So I should be able to find bitumen, I guess. Where does it spawn? Yeah, okay. Fine, let me go and try to find some. If I don't, then we'll find another solution. I need torches. Well, I was gearing up for the adventure that I'm going on, so I made an extra ender pouch so that I can store my items inside. I made uh, the Sojourner staff, which will hold torches a lot, because I remembered we have Reliquary and why not use it. And I also made the Lantern of Paranoia. I also upgraded these to Signalum and... I guess after that we just need food. We should be fine. Oh, and uh, the thing that I wanted to say was that the Lantern of Paranoia will not work if you do not have the Sojourner's Staff. Because this holds torches, this guy places it. So either I'm incredibly unlucky or this is not how you do it. My last trip to Landia was a total disaster because I could not find a single oil shale. And yeah, there is an add-on to JEI which tells you where the hell do these ores spawn and that's not installed for some reason. Anyway, worse comes to worse, we can make oil by mixing biodiesel and nutrient distillation. But I think it's in everyone's best interest if I can find bitumen. So there is another dimension which I would like to try and the recipe for its portal has not been changed. The deep dark. This is the part I hate the most because you don't know what's down there. There could be a John Cena there and I could be dead and it's a long drop. So I'm alive, there's no need to panic. I know, I know, I'm a genius, I know that, you don't have to say it. We found it and the best part is that apparently nuclear craft ores also spawn here so I can have access to boron, magnesium and uranium which is very good because I was stuck at upgrading my armor. To be honest with you I think this is the most ridiculous way of making plastic in pneumatic craft without getting that much into pneumatic craft. But anyway, <laughs> the way this works is very simple, we're providing this magma crucible with bitumen the bitumen gets converted into crude oil, goes into this refinery, which requires heat, which I have a lava here, and once in a while that lava gets converted into obsidian, so I have an auto breaker and also a fluid placer so that this one will break the obsidian, this guy will place lava. Then we're getting LPG and uh, diesel, 
So the LPG is the thing that we need to process. So we are going to need a thermoneumatic processing plant which takes the LPG and it just broke. It's fixed, don't worry. <laughs> anyway, the thermo uh, pneumatic processing plant will take the LPG and coal and gives us liquid plastic. The way that I'm providing this guy with heat is the same way as I'm doing it with the refineries and also I have an air compressor to provide this guy with pressure. We have liquid plastic. That's good. Stupid, but good. So we give you plastic and you're next to lava. You will give me plastic sheet, right? Yes! Awesome! Okay, that's not bad. Later we have to make this setup functional. <laughs> right now it's just bad. Very bad. Now that I've made the digital miner, I'm somehow not in the mood of going to the twilight forest. I want to do something fun, but for that I'm going to need a lot of nether stars. We have 21 here, we have I think 16 in the ME system, so that's not gonna be enough. If we want to make the seeds, we are going to need insanium, but we only need one seed because we can grow it later on, and we are going to need these guys. Hmm, it needs supremium. Uh, gathering Inferium to make Supremium is not going to be problematic because uh, this guy is 10, 10, 10 and whenever I hold right click it will give me like 40, 50 Inferium Essences. So gathering Essence is not going to be the problem. The problem is uh, I cannot make the Master Infusion Stone because it needs Lord Craft and I, I, I don't have this. So I have to do this. Fine, I'll do that. <laughs> I'll be right back. I do not have enough resources but I managed to make 9 crocs and I also managed to make another star seed. It's also 10 10 10 and I think I have a lot more for backup. Yes, that is lovely. <laughs> that makes me happy. So we're going to test how fast this thing is because eventually we're going to need EMC and I prefer to do it with nether stars instead of making a dimension. So I do have a harvester. Uh, the trash can for fluids is for the sludge and I have a crafter tier 1 which makes the nether stars. Go on fast mode. Let's see how it works. That's not bad. <laughs> That's very good. Because imagine we will have like 20 of these things. So at first I thought it's not that bad but then I noticed something. It gets stuck. <laughs> So we should be able to upgrade this, right? With glowstone? Yeah, but he's just doing one. So the thing is, if you put this stupid range add-on inside, it will do all nine of them. It was not inside, so it was just doing one. But the problem is, when it's doing one, it's actually much faster. So what's the point of adding ranges? We can just increase the number of plant gatherers. Yeah. That's good. I thought I'm going to make an epic scene of me firing this railgun at a wither and see how powerful it is because it takes 10 million RF per shot. Unfortunately, this guy does not fit there. <laughs> so in the normal energy infuser from thermal expansion, it will take ages. So this is the best solution that I have. Could take some time. So it's not as epic as I thought, but uh, it does decent damage. We should remember that the Wither in this mod pack has around six to 700 hit points. I don't know why, <laughs> but I feel confident enough to fight the Ender Dragon now, as soon as I make the cake. All the headaches from gathering milk and gathering eggs can be solved by using soybeans in a presser. And you literally get everything, even the egg, which is great. So we should be able to make the egg and we should be able to make the cake. Yes. Awesome. We have basically everything. I also have extra bottles in the satchel, so we're good to go, I guess. How do you eat this?
taking over a control point. Our forces have taken over a control point. Let's take the fight to the rebels. Alright guys, I think it's also time to wrap up the episode before it gets super long. Next episode we are going to go to the Twilight Forest, we are going to do Lordcraft and we are going to do Astral Sorcery. I'm hoping we would be able to get the Philosopher's Stone by next episode and have EMC the next one. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed it. Till the next one, bye bye.